guys, it's Miss Ross. I've been missing you all. I've missed reading books to you guys and hope you're doing well at home. If you remember, we were reading all the books in our Kentucky Bluegrass Awards series and we were almost finished. We only have two books left. One of them is this book called What If? and I'm going to read it today. And the next book um, we have, I will read for the next week. And after that, hopefully I will be able to let you all, all vote online and we will participate in the Kentucky Bluegrass Award voting process. So this week's book is called What If? It's by Samantha Berger, illustrated by Mike Curito. And this book is about a girl and how she loves to be creative. With a paper and pencil, I write and draw art to create many stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil one day disappeared? I'd fold up the paper till stories appeared. And what if that paper was no longer there? I'd chisel the table and then carve the chair. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I'd chip and I'd peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from boards in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. I could still shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. I could still paint the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Without any land, I would still use the light, invent shadow stories the sun would ignite. chant and rejoice. I'd still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my stories beginning to end. If I had nothing but still had my mind, There'd always be stories to seek and to find. If I know nothing but one bit of faith, as long as I live, I will always create. As long as I live, I will always create. So in this book, we see how this little girl really enjoys um, being imaginative and creating things. And she uses anything she has around her, whether it's a pencil and paper, whether she's outside and she uses leaves or snow. She was using just everyday objects to create and make wonderful, special things. So this week's challenge to you guys is just to be creative and look around you and use whatever you can find, whether it's outside, inside, paper, pencil, and make something really special and creative. And if you're able to, take a picture of it and upload it um, and put it in the comments of our Google Classroom so I can see what you guys did and tell you what a great job you did. So for now, this is it. And I thank you guys and I hope you have a great day and enjoyed this story. Bye guys.